I'm Bob Duhamel, and today I'm going to answer a question from a viewer who goes by the name of Mons, and his question is on the video about small signal amplifiers, and the question is, this is probably a stupid question, but why do we use a capacitor instead of a diode to prevent the DC from going from the circuit to the microphone? And that is not a stupid question, it's actually a fairly common question, which is why I'm going to make a video to answer it. So let's take a look at what he's talking about. I'm not going to show the whole circuit, I'm going to just show the part in question. If you want to see the whole video, you can see it linked below. But we have a small signal amplifier, there's the input to the transistor. We have some bias resistors here to get the transistor to the voltage that we need on the base of the transistor. And out here we have a microphone going to ground. That goes to ground too. And what we don't want is this DC voltage going through the microphone. We don't want any current going through the microphone. We just want the current from the microphone, or at least the signal from the microphone, to go to the amplifier. So what do we do? We put a capacitor here. And so that blocks the direct current from going through the microphone. But the alternating current, because the current is constantly changing when we have a constant because the voltage is constantly changing, when we have a constantly changing voltage, we get a constant current through the capacitor. Watch my video on how capacitors work to know more about that. But in a nutshell, whenever the voltage changes across a capacitor, we get a short period of time when current flows through it as things equalize and then it stops flowing. But with the microphone, if we have a constantly changing voltage here because we're speaking into it or whatever, we're going to get a constantly changing voltage across the capacitor. So we get current going this way and then that way back and forth through the capacitor. So even though the direct current cannot make it through the capacitor, the signal from the microphone goes right through. Essentially, since this voltage goes up and down, it causes this voltage to go up and down too. So even though we have these bias resistors holding this at a particular voltage, the voltage coming from the microphone and then coming right through the capacitor because it's alternating current causes that voltage to go up and down a little bit and that causes the current through the transistor to change and then we get amplification. So the question is, if I can reduce this clutter without having to redraw the whole circuit, why don't we just put a diode here instead? That'll block the DC from going to the microphone, won't it? Well, this would work except it's rectifying the signal. So we can get current going through this way. So as the voltage goes up, we get current going through. And as it drops back down, well, the current gets bigger and then the current gets smaller. And that's going to raise the voltage here and then drop the voltage there. That looks okay. But then when it tries to go the other way, it can't. And so it just gets cut off. So with the capacitor, when the voltage goes up, the current goes up, the voltage goes down, the current goes down, but then when the current goes below zero, we get current flowing the opposite direction. So the current goes this way, then the current goes that way, back and forth and back and forth, alternating current. With the diode there, the current goes this way, and then it gets less and less, but then when it tries to go that way, nothing. So it just gets cut off, and so we end up with a rectified signal at the base of the transistor. So we get that instead of that. So it's a great idea to block DC, but if we want to block DC but allow AC, it doesn't matter which way it's going, the capacitor will block our direct current without blocking our alternating current. So what is the mantra about capacitors? They block DC, but they pass AC, and that's exactly what we want here. We want something that blocks the DC, but passes the AC. This blocks the DC, but it does not pass the AC. So we end up with the rectified signal and uh, that sounds pretty nasty. Now, actually, there are some amplifiers where that might be used, uh, class C amplifiers. I've never actually seen a diode, but we might because in a class C amplifier, we depend on other parts of the circuit to rebuild the sine wave. In other words, it's used in like radio transmitters where we have a certain frequency going through there and we have a resonant circuit that will rebuild the sine wave anyway. But this is an audio amplifier. But we don't use class C audio amplifiers because they only work at one frequency and we need something that works at a wide range of frequencies. So there's your answer. Yes, a diode would block the DC, but it would also block the AC. So that's why we don't do it. So yeah, not a stupid question because a lot of people ask that and there's your answer. So what we want there is the magic device that blocks DC, 
but passes AC. So the DC can't go this way, but the AC can go right through, get through here and be amplified. If you found this video useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And subscribe because that not only informs you when I put new videos up, but it really helps the channel also. And a big thank you to my patrons at Patreon. I could not make these videos without your support. If you want to help me put these videos online and keep real vocational education free at vocademy.net, you can go to Patreon slash join slash vocademy and pledge your support. And again, a big thank you to my patrons who make this possible, and a big thank you to everyone for watching.